Retail Mobile is a fast way to build native mobile applications using many of the concepts you're familiar with from the core retail experience. Let's imagine I'm a warehouse manager making an application for my employees to change the price and quantity of items during my busy season. Let's build this in about five minutes. In the middle, I have a canvas where I can preview parts of my application and the screens I'm building. On the right-hand side, for my building blocks and screens, I can edit properties on those individual items. In the bottom, I can write queries against data sources like PostgreSQL databases and APIs. And on the left side, I can look at my different screens and on a given screen, see what components make up that screen and investigate further from there. So let's get started by writing a query against an onboarding Postgres database I already added and say select star from items and I'll order these items by ID. That looks good. Let's try to take that data and put it into the component on my default screen. I'll change the name of the query to get items and change the data source on this component to get items as well. And Retool helpfully pre-fills in some data. And also inside of double curly braces, everything in Retool is JavaScript. And so I can use that to reference different components, objects, and queries. I can also write some markdown. So I'll say quantity is equal to item.quantity in double curly braces. And I'll say price is equal to item.price again in double curly braces. Now I can change the aesthetic of this to be something like a car that is elevated and moves horizontally. Um, but for now, I'll go back to my original flat list that I had earlier. And I'll add an action here. And I'll say that the action is a label and an icon, so the end user knows they can click through to a different screen. Now, if I click through on that screen, you'll see the default behavior in this event handler is actually navigating to a detailed screen that Retool gave me for free. If I click through on that detailed screen, I have an image that Retool helpfully prefills for me. And I have a key value component where values are also helpfully prefilled for me as well. I can modify those if I wanted to. Now, I really want to add an edit button so a user can go through from the detail screen and edit the values on this component. So I want to add edit, and I want to say, let's navigate to a different screen and have that be a new screen, screen three. I click through on edit, and now I'm on a blank screen three. Let me add an image component and have the source be collection v1 for my first screen dot selected item, a property we give you, dot image to get started. And I'm also going to add a heading so there's some text on the screen telling the user what item this is. I'll again do collection view one dot selected item dot name this time. Now I want to add two number inputs so people can change the quantity and the price of the item on this screen. And I'll change the label for this first one to be quantity and the default value to be collection view one again dot selected item this time dot quantity. And I'll do the same thing for my second number input, but have this one be for price. So the label is price and I reference the price value on the item the same way as earlier. Now I need to add a button to the UI as well so the end user can actually click on something to edit these values. Let me add an icon to that button, a prefix icon that's a check mark, so it's a little bit more obvious what's going on. And I'll call the item, uh, the update button, update. Now I want to fire off a new query actually, and have this query be by one click handler, is the default name. I'll change to GUI mode in my query editor. I want to update the items table. I want to update an existing record in that table. And the ID of that record should be the ID of the item I'm looking at in the current UI. So that's collection view one dot selected item dot ID. I want to change two values. The first is the quantity. So quantity should change to number input one dot value from this screen and price. So price should be number input two dot value. So update an existing item with these new values the end user submits. When that query is done, I want to go ahead and do a few things. The first thing is actually fire off that get items query one more time to refresh the data on the initial screen. The second thing is show a notification that says success. So the end user knows their update button hit was successful. And the last thing is actually go ahead and navigate back to the initial screen so the end user can start this process again. Maybe they're doing this many times in a given day. I'll also tell the user that on the button, there's a loading state, and I'll say that loading state should exist whenever this query is firing. So when someone hits the button, the query fires, and they see that value in the button loading state. Now, I'll choose a quantity date and hit update. There's a loading state just for a second, and I get taken back to screen one, and the quantity has been updated. And maybe my end users are picky, and so I want to go ahead and change the theme on this application, make it a little bit purple in the background, add that to the header, make the buttons a little bit rounder. That looks pretty good. Let's go to preview and try this experience as an end user. I'll pick the second item, and I'll take its quantity from five, maybe down to three. I ship some stuff out. I'm going to hit a check mark. That looks pretty good. Now let's show you how to deploy an application in the Retool Mobile experience. Let me go back to the edit view, and this time hit the share button in the top right of the UI. I can invite users one email at a time, or I can add many at once using a comma separated list of emails. I'll do that. And once I've gone ahead and put in these example emails, I'll go ahead and hit bulk invite users. And that will send an email invite out to each of those individuals. Now on the recipient side, I see this email invitation and I go ahead and hit accept invite. 
And in my browser, that will take me to a signup page. Now here I can put in my first and last name. Uh, in this case, it's just Anker and I work at Retool as an example, and I hit sign up. And I'll be encouraged to download the Retool native application from the iOS app or Android Play Store. This is sort of a shell that lets me load in the things that my team has built for me. I download that application and I hit open a few seconds later. And when I open the Retool native application, I'll be encouraged to allow paste. This will let me properly use the email invitation links from the original invites. Once I hit allow paste, I'll one, be logged in automatically to the Retool native application, and two, be taken directly to the app that my team wants me to use, in this case, the warehouse app. I take the button, I change the quantity from five to seven, I hit update, and that's it. I'm not using the app in a live production environment. You can build a Retool native mobile app in a few minutes and deploy it in a few seconds. Thanks so much.